okay? Also known as needs analysis. What I like to call it is recognizance or uh, intel, okay? Intelligence gathering. We're gaining the information, okay? Now, number three, vehicle selection. Now, after we've qualified a person, remember, as we're going to go through that when you all role play it, if you pay attention to the questions that we have, those discovery questions, those are what are called layered questions. And what a layered question is, it's a question that you can ask that allows you to ask another question to build on another one. So an example of that is when we have the guests and we bring them in, we already offered them the coffee, water, hot chocolate, or any hot apple cider from the machine or whatever, and we're sitting down with them, and we say, hey, are you looking for something new or pre-owned? Regardless whether they say new or pre-owned, guess what, is this for business or for personal use? Regardless whether they say business or personal use. Okay, so if they say business, so it's your daily driver to and from your place of business, right? Yeah, what type of work do you do? Let us write that. Let's just say they say personal. So it's your per for personal use, yeah. Your daily driver, yeah. Are you gonna be using to go to and from your place of business also? Yeah, what type of work do you do? Even if they say, well no, I'm not using it to drive to my place of business. Really, well what type of work do you do? So as you see, all I did was adjusted the tone and was still able to ask what type of work you do, or what type of work do you do? You understand? So those are layered questions where you can ask it, and regardless of what answer they give, you can still go another way. And it also allowed me to lead into their employment history. Okay? So you want to make sure you pay attention to those things. So based off that information, you never want to rush through that qualifying process. This is where a lot of salespeople drop the ball. They think it's a race, and it's not. This is literally where you want to take your time, slow down, and make sure you fully understand what they're explaining to you. And like Mike D was sharing, you always want to recap what they shared with you. So, okay, so uh, Caleb, to make sure I understand you correctly, and I believe that I do, what you're looking for is, and then recap it. You know, you're looking for a 2020 uh, new Toyota that you're gonna be using to get to and from your place of business, where you're an IT tech. Um, you and your family will be riding in it. You all may be using it for vacation. Um, you're looking for something with XYZ, uh, Bluetooth, and uh, different type of features where you're recapping everything with them. Oh, thanks, brother. You're recapping everything with them because guess what? There's no such thing as a good deal on the wrong bill. And you can go to the management, working things out, and realize, damn, I didn't understand them correctly, and this is the wrong option. So always recap. Never get up and walk away without making sure that they say, yep, you got it. Now, why else is it important to make sure that you recap it with them? What, does, what impression does that give to them? That you listen. That you care, that you listen. Okay? And let them know, hey, listen, I want to go over this with you to make sure that I understand you correctly. I believe that I do. It's extremely important to make sure that everything that you all are looking for, I can do my best to make sure I got that for you. Remember, it's all about us being in service for them. You know, us being in service for them. And you always want to make sure you're relaying that through your voice inflection, through the actual words that you say, and through the actions that you take, okay? Because remember, they don't care how much we know until they know how much we care. And a person will do business with you here rather than going to another Toyota store where they can get cheaper strictly because they like and they trust you. And I'll prove it to you. Everybody in this room goes somewhere and does business with somebody because they like and they trust that person, even though they can go get the same exact thing cheaper someplace else. It's like if you go to a certain barber shop or a salon. Why do you go there? Because they typically know your hair, they know how you like to cut, you trust them, you'll have good conversation. But you can go to the barber college or the cosmetology school and get it done for free. You can let your mother, your father, your significant other, your kids do it if you wanted to. Might not look that good, but you have that option. But why are you willing to invest that money to go there? Because quality of service, trust, whatever the number of reasons are. Okay, it's the same thing in this. They'll do business with you if they like you and they trust you and what you have is reasonable, even if it is more than someplace else, strictly based off those factors. And then there's other times where if they're not treated the right way, guess what? You couldn't give that vehicle away to them. 
they'll go someplace else and be willing to spend more money strictly because they're not trying to give it to you. Have any of you ever been in a business that treated you away where you said, you know what, man, ain't no way in the world I would spend a dollar in this joint from this day forward and left? Yes, we all have had that experience, okay? For more information on how you can gain access to some of the most effective and power-packed automotive sales training downloads on the internet, just click the link in the description. It is simple. Right beneath the video, you'll see a title. There's an arrow drop down. Click that. It'll expand. There's a link that'll take you right over, or you can check the comments section. Within this train of materials, it takes you through the entire sales process on how to greet your customer all the way to the closing table and seeing them drive off in their new vehicle. It teaches you how to drive social media traffic from people who are looking to do business with you at your dealership. It gives you the right things to say, the questions, the way to respond, regardless if somebody says the price is too high, they want to think about it, or they want more for their trade, you are absolutely covered. So click that link in the description or click that link in the comments for access for some of the most powerful automotive sales training materials on the internet. I'm Brian Maxwell and I look forward to seeing you at the top and at the dealership.